Well, hello everybody. Today, uh, this is January 2nd of 2023, and I woke up with a few scriptures going over in my mind I just wanted to give to you guys as we're preparing to be in this harvest time of our the greatest harvest that the, the world has ever seen is about to happen. Harvest of the kingdom of God. Harvest of people stepping into their place and making the kingdoms of this world, the kingdoms of our God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So um, how do we run with endurance? How do we run excellently? How do we run getting rid of the weights and the sin that so easily besets us? And how do we take care of the vineyard? So these are a couple of scriptures I just want to read to you uh, quickly. It won't be very long today, but Song of Solomon, uh, chapter 2, verse 15 in the AMPC translation, it says, My heart was touched and I fervently sang to him my desire. So th this is a very passionate uh, book of the uh, Song of Solomon's or the Song of Songs. Um, and, and this is a passionate cry for the lover of God um to help it's it's a cry for help it says my heart was touched and i was fer and i fervently sang to him my desire take for us the foxes the little foxes that spoil the vineyards of our love for our vineyards are in blossom they're they're in the ladies and gentlemen the world is in full bloom it's the, about the time of the restoration of all things and we can step in and be an answer and a solution. We can step in and take the harvest. But the anointing that we get through intimacy is being robbed at times by these little foxes. They don't seem like much. That, that little anger or that little bitterness or that little, you know, drinking too much or that little this or that little that. There's a lot of different things that are nipping at your vine, that are stealing the grapes, stealing the fruit. And I just want to come to you and say, for us to run with endurance, and this is the second scripture that was uh, coming up in my mind. Sorry. <laughs> my buddy's calling me there. Uh, this is the second scripture that was coming up in my mind. It says, therefore, we also, this is in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore, we also, since we were surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, that word there is mar martus, where we get the root of martyr. So, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Um, therefore, Sorry, let me start thinking. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, that's mar martus, the um, root of the word martyr. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Ladies and gentlemen, we this is a running season. We're, we, are, we need to just allow God to do the finishing touches. He's the finishing carpenter. He's the, he's the one that's coming with the details. We have to get good at um, fulfilling the word of God concerning us. Jesus said in John 4, 34, my meat is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. So there, there's things that we need to do, and there's some things that we do not need to do. There are things that are nipping at the vine. There are things that are coming into your life. There's no more giants in the land, but there are, which is the wars been won, but there are these little battles of these foxes and these things that ensnare us, and we get so far, and then we we. You know, we get the pressure comes and, and just before the elevation, the attempted assassination comes and all these things begin to happen to stop you from being fruitful. God is interested in you being fruitful. He wants, he's interested in fruit, more fruit, much fruit, and that your fruit would remain. This is what my grandfather taught me. He says, others can bury, you cannot. So there's things that you cannot do in this season, and there's things that you must do in this season. 
I love you so much, and I'm coming before you, and I just pray right now a grace, Lord God, over all of our lives today. A great grace would come over us that we would be able to run our race, to fulfill our purpose, to take all the fruit and not let it be stolen, Lord God. And don't let the the, the vines be cut and, and nipped away and the sap uh, drained out of our lives, the goodness of the Lord, the anointing of his presence. Uh, Father God, in Jesus' name, I pray for that for all of us this day in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is Barry Miracle. Just wanted to get on here quickly and and, and share this. I love you. Uh, and we, we will hopefully talk soon or we would see each other when we're traveling around. But love you all. Happy New Year. And, and ask the Lord. This is a cry. And let me just say this one last thing. My heart was touched and I fervently sang to him. This, this is what we fervently say to the Lord. Father, Jesus, precious Holy Spirit, take from us, catch the foxes. Take the foxes from us. We willingly, Lord God, according to Hebrews 12, 1, we willingly lay aside the things that easily ensnares us, the sins that, that are compromising, the things that are sucking life out of our relationship. This is our cry in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Bye for now.